Welcome to this morning's Children Talk. Um, we are in Devon at a farm, okay, and we would be forgiven for thinking it might be Christmas. Why might that be? Well, here we have a Christmas tree, Christmas lights, and some of these. I wonder if you can guess what animal has these. Hopefully, children, you guessed what animal we are with. We're actually with some reindeers. Okay, on this farm, they farm some reindeer. And as you can tell with this reindeer, they've got fantastic antlers. And on the antlers, um, they're covered in velvet, a really smooth texture. And within that velvet, there are blood capillaries and they have a great source of blood to the antlers. However, they rub those velvet, that velvet rubs off after a while and then they lose that blood source to the antlers. Um, so in November time, the male um, deer actually lose and drop their antlers off, just like this one. Okay, so it's no longer got velvet on it, and it drops to the floor. Okay, so it doesn't have that source of blood anymore to keep it alive. Now okay. As the farm was telling me about the uh, antlers and the fact that they drop off once they lose that blood supply, it reminded me of a couple of verses in John um, chapter 15. Now I wonder if you can work out why this has reminded me of that. John chapter 15 verses 5 to 6 says this, I, it's referring to Jesus, am the vine and you are the branches. If a person remains in me and I remain in him, then he produces much fruit. But without me, he can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, then he is like a branch that is thrown away and that branch dies. Very similar to the picture we have here with the antlers. Jesus used the picture of vines in his time because it, the, the people he was talking to could relate to um, that imagery. Okay, the vine and the grapes and bearing, the branches bearing fruit. So I thought, well, we could link to that, but why not have a poorer picture of uh, a deer, a reindeer, and them losing their antlers. So when the blood is supplied to the antlers, those antlers are alive. Okay, they produce velvet, they've got velvet on them, and they are thriving, just like we can in our Christian life. But how can we do that? Well, we have to be plugged in not only to a church, but we need to be plugged into our life source, Jesus Christ. Okay, And you need to consider how and why is it important to do that. Okay, And you might be thinking, how do I form a friendship, a relationship with Jesus Christ and be plugged in where I get the Holy Spirit, okay, which is your life source, to thrive and to bear fruit as a Christian? Well done for learning so many memory verses over the last few months. Um, and I'm going to give you a memory verse now ready for next week. And that comes from John chapter 15 verse 5, just the passage we've been looking at. And it reads, I am the vine and you are the branches. If a person remains in me and I remain in him, then he produces much fruit. But without me, he can do nothing.